All successful people have at least one thing in common. They've all had training. So today I'm going to teach you how I landed my dream internships and hopefully my tips will help you land your dream internship and hopefully your dream job. Hi everyone, my name is Amber and I'm the creator of Girl With Drive where I help ambitious millennials reach their goals. So after I graduated college, my first job was at the Huffington Post, which is now HuffPost, and it truly attests me getting that job to having different internships. I'm super passionate about the subject. I preach it all the time that internships are one of the most important things college students can do. In this video, I'm going to talk just a little bit of how I got like my dream internships at NBC and CNN, and then give some tips on how I landed them. So the first step to all of this was that I started early. I started to apply for internships at the end of my freshman year of college. I truly think like you can't even wait till your junior year anymore to start thinking about getting an internship. You have to start early. I went to my school's career center and I spoke to a career counselor and she really helped me craft my resume and my cover letter. And at the time I was only working for my school's paper but it really helped just having a second pair of eyes to look at my applications. And I applied for a lot of internships that summer. I think I applied for like 25 or 30 and I only heard back from I think three or four. And I did something kind of unique. I did two virtual internships. So a virtual internship is just like a regular internship, but you actually stay at home and you don't go to an office. So I was a social media intern for a college magazine and I was an editorial intern for like a lifestyle online magazine and those really helped me get my clips together and so it just really built my resume and personally I think to start off with instead of doing a regular first internship try to do a virtual internship. So after that summer of my freshman year I did another internship that was virtual and it was reviewing reality TV shows. So at the time, I really thought I wanted to be this entertainment reporter and I loved reality TV, so I thought it would be a great mix. And I would I would like work with like the Style Network a lot and Bravo and they would send me episodes, like DVD episodes of the like months before things would premiere and then I would like interview the like stars of the show so this is like when Love and Hip Hop Atlanta was first premiering and like what was it, it was like Jersey Licious, T and Tamira, Jersey Shore I think was just ending but like I would interview like Polly D and them and I remember I had a blast doing it but that internship really taught me that I liked watching entertainment and not being in entertainment. Like I find it relaxing to watch reality TV. I don't want to cover reality TV. But through that internship, I was writing like two or three times a week for a website. And you know, I was getting more traction and my Twitter was kind of growing a little bit. And that's how I really like was able to craft like a personal brand. So I knew that I wanted to move into harder news. And that's when I applied for my internship at NBC Washington. So I think what really stood out, I think two things really helped me stand out. One was that I had a website and that's like so crucial now. I think even like four or five years ago, students didn't really have a website. Now it's like a requirement. You need a website. Mine wasn't even the best. It was this little Wix website. And I think I had like Katy Perry music in the background. Like it wasn't great by any means, but it had like my clips on there and it had my bio and it had what I want to do. It had like the bare minimum. And you know, my future boss said, you know, every student I interviewed didn't have a website, but you did. And the second thing I did that was a little different was I had a really great cover letter. I think the cover letter is where you need to bring it the most. And I, you know, I said, you know, in high school, I used to, I was voted the biggest gossiper because I have to know all the facts to a story. So I made like what others think is like a negative attribute and I made it really positive and it showed like my personality and that I was creative. So that helped me stand out. And then while I was at that internship, I think I did a few things that helped me get NBC News. So the first thing I did was I never acted 
like an intern, I acted like an employee trying to get a promotion. So I would go in there early, I would be prepared, I would speak up in meetings, and I didn't wait for someone to always tell me what to do. So of course I did my regular job duties and then I did those flawlessly, I think. And then um, when big things would happen, I would always like jump in. So I was there during, during the Boston Marathon bombings. So as an intern, you just really need to know your place and know like, I'm not gonna be an anchor talking about this. I'm not gonna be the main one writing this story, but I'm still gonna help out. So what I did, um, I remember I think I was about to leave because I had to finish a paper or something. And then I was asked to stay later because I think the, the bombings happened and it was in the middle of the day. And I just thought to myself, you know, how many people from the DMV area are there for the marathon? So I went to the official website and I was typing in zip codes and it was like 15 people from Northern Virginia were at the race. 50 people from Georgetown were there. And so then I just typed it up in an email and I sent it to the producer who was working on the show, the web producer and like just a few people and they read it on air. So it's something like small that I did, but of course I put that on my resume because I worked on it. Having an internship means that you get to network for free and I would try to get to know everybody. And this is how I ended up getting my internship at NBC News. So I was at the ice cream truck. Um, they had an ice cream truck to come every Friday, like give employees free ice cream. And while I was at the truck, there was a guy next to me who I never saw before. And I was just like, oh, hi, how are you? And then I was like, what do you do here? And he said, I work for NBC News. And NBC News and NBC Washington were in the same building, but they operated very separately. So he was like, do you want a tour? And I was like, yeah. So he took me on a tour and it was like huge. And I was like, I was so starstruck. I just saw like everyone on the wall and I saw these reporters. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to, I have to work here. So then he introduced me to the internship coordinator and this was like the end of my junior year and I was at NBC Washington for two semesters at that point. So I was like, you know, I am looking for, for a fall internship. Are there any openings? Because I, I think I had missed a deadline at that point. She was like, yeah, just send me your resume ASAP. So always keep your resume updated. And I sent her my resume and long story short, I was hired. And I was hired as a general assignment intern, which means that I didn't have a show to work on like everyone else. And I really had to like carve out my own space as an intern. So I did a few things. I shadowed every single department. I mean, I shadowed marketing. I shadowed finance. I shadowed the video department. I shadowed everyone because I think it's really important in any job to know what other people do. You know, if you wanna be a reporter, don't just shadow reporters. You need to shadow that camera person. You need to shadow that producer. You need to know what everyone does because once you know how an organization works from the inside out, man, you're golden. So in addition to shadowing different departments, I would also do stakeouts. So a stakeout means that you're watching something for a long period of time and seeing if any important person comes. So every morning when I got in, I would do a White House stakeout and I would look at the White House camera and I would sc scrub through footage and see if anyone important was there who wasn't scheduled to be there. And then I would um, write it down and you had to identify people correctly. So that's how I got to know different faces and different, different people's positions. So I'm coming to the end of the first semester of my senior year. So I'm going into my last semester and I really thought I needed at least one more internship and I had already applied for CNN twice before, but I was like, let me do it a third time. So I applied my third time and I finally got a call back. The other two times I didn't even get a call back. And it was for a political show. And I interviewed for the position and honestly, CNN was the hardest interview I've ever had to date. It was like, you had to know it. You know, sometimes in interviews you can kind of fluff it, but no, like you had to know it and you couldn't like look up things. So they would ask me like, who was the governor in New Mexico? And like, who was the secretary of defense? Like things like you had to know it. Like you couldn't like just make up any random person. And that's why I attest having NBC to getting CNN because, be because I did all those stakeouts and all that scrubbing and knowing footage really well, 
it helped me identify people and knowing people's positions and knowing current events and that's what helped me get CNN. So during my time at CNN there were a few big stories. Um, the Malaysian Airlines flight went missing and we were gearing up for the 2016 presidential elections. So I think I would get in at like 10 a.m. and I wouldn't leave till like 7 or 8 and I did this not because I was like trying to get a job, but because I was really trying to just like learn as much as I could. And I think that's really important as an intern. I think everyone is like, especially when they're about to graduate, like I just have to get a job. I just have to get a job, but they don't really enjoy the moment and the process that they're going through. And while I was at CNN, I had a lot of people look at my resume. I think it's really important to have people in the field that you want to go into, look at your resume. Don't just rely on the careers career center. Um, ask people in the field that you want to be into. And so my one of my top tips would be to have a really quantifiable and detailed resume. So like, for example, I would have never wrote on my resume, like wrote articles. I would write, you know, wrote seven to 10 weekly articles on this subject this subject and this subject so i'm going to have a much more detailed um, resume video coming up soon so i really hoped my internship journey slash story could help all of you and i think the main takeaway is that there's different paths to get to where you want to be so you know i did virtual internships and i did a lot of networking and i did a lot of shadowing but in the end i always just took initiative in every situation i was in so that's my main thing that I want to like give to you is just take the initiative when you're an intern because that can lead to the next internship. So if you liked this video, please like and comment below and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because I'm going to be making a whole bunch of more videos on how to like do a bomb resume and how to do a bomb cover letter. So until then, thank you for watching.